if if th- this is this is by the way this is where the youtube part of the show has begun so if you're watching on youtube you missed 15 minutes of this show so you should there are two places where you could watch this show live one is on facebook on the liberty principle facebook page and where's the other place what d live d live oh yeah what's your d live oh at bodhi.agora so those are the two places where you get to see the full meal deal and not the condensed version that you get on YouTube. But if you could see the video, Bodie, I don't know if you do you have a video up and you can see the background. I can see it if I click it. Let me click it and yeah. mute it really. Quick. <laughs> I have for the Lozilla segment. I have oh, the trolley. Oh. <laughs> you see that? Fantastic. <laughs> you see, I got the turtle <laughs> earth behind me. <laughs> If you had a if you had a green screen, I could do that for you. But well, you do have a green screen, but but your background's fine, and your oh, you're hawking your merch, which you should be doing. That's what uh, I, I like. That, yeah, agora.threadless.com. That's agora.threadless.com. Huh. So, so the first Lozilla item that we're gonna get to. Do, do you do you want to cover this? NASA lies, flat Earth conspiracy theory growing thanks to. Celebrity endorsement. Uh, yeah. American Flat Earth Movement is growing in popularity after celebrity endorsement and outrageous stunts to promote the cause. The cause. The cause. <laughs> the cause. I still can't figure out what the cause I is. I don't know what the cause is either. Uh, I, I think I it, boils, out. it boils down to the Bible. It does. It's about... Either, well, I don't want to get into that. I'm going to save that for the last segment. I ponder. We'll, for we'll me, I'm going to save that for the last thing. Okay, so despite photographic evidence from space, and even though a spherical globe was postulated as early as the 5th century BC by Aristotle, adherents to the flat earth theory are growing in number, probably because Aristotle was a dumbass. Yeah. 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 He, he was right, it. but he was wrong in how he was right. Yep. So data from Google Trends show that the... Oh, come on. Everybody's mimicking that freaking <laughs> line. Oh I'm my telling God. you. That's... Don't, don't people write original articles anymore? Not many. Not many. And, you know, even if you don't write, like even for me, I state, I'm mostly news aggregate, but you'll get a unique perspective on that article. Right. I'll blurb it, and then you'll get a unique perspective on it uh, or a critique of the article. Part of the problem with this popularity is everyone copying these things and not adding if they all added their own unique thought to the flat earth theory i think it wouldn't be as exciting but the fact that they're repeating the same things and everybody's confirming it and spreading it without actually critically looking at it it's actually causing it to be more and more popular and more and more accepted because they're starting to see all these sources talking about it yeah it's uh... they're all saying the same exact thing and and that actually, whether it's, I mean, is it is it is it a conspiracy or is it simply uh, just the reality of the news business or or what it is? I I honestly think it's a it's a psyop that got out of control. Someone did it for the lulls. Right, I have Someone something on that. And I I really think that's where it all came from, and the people that are dumb enough. To believe it, like, uh, but here, here, this is a prime example. They mentioned Mad Mike Hughes planned to launch himself 1,800 feet. I can't wait to air, see that. Which is basically lower than any commercial airplane flies. Uh, well, and flies air 500 miles per he, hour. And steam but he has power. a rocket. Yeah, but it only goes 1,800 feet. But he has Earth, a rocket. That's great. And what I think he did was, I don't think he's actually a flat earther. I think he just wanted to build a rocket, said he was a flat earther, and then got flat earthers to fund him. But it's a <laughs> rocket. I understand. I'm not knocking him. I'm just saying it's a rocket. That's It's a rocket. That's what, that's what makes it awesome. It's a that's... steam-powered rocket. Is it a steam-powered rocket? I didn't know that. I love steam power. It's no, steam- I don't mean... Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I... I... I challenge you to YouTube search for steam engine cars and find the Jay Leno videos 
And oh. a steam engine cars, they're things of beauty. They're wonderful. I wish they'd come back. Probably not practical, but whatever. So the the uh, the trolley element is going to continue here with the next article. Uh, do you see the next article there? Neil deGrasse Tyson slams fat earth. Fat earth. Yeah. Fat earth theory with a single picture. He 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 feels compelled to to jump into this yep. and engage. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why. I don't know why he feels compelled to jump into this and engage, but, but he well, has. He's being exposed for the poor scientist he is. Oh, Neil deGrasse. Well, you know, he, he's actually kind of a master troll himself. So yeah. I don't know why I'm a even asking this question. So so he he tweets out there and you can see in the video here if you're if you're boy if you're listening to the audio version this is definitely a show you want to watch the video after you or, or you know what if you're listening to the audio stop and go and watch the video <laughs> cuz this is definitely a show that that's much better with video. Most of our shows you can listen to audio and be fine. And you can listen to audio for this show and be fine, but you're missing out. So so he tweets out a picture, a lunar eclipse flat earthers have never seen. I don't get it. Tell me, explain that, Mr. Science Man. You know science and I don't. What do you mean? If the earth was flat, the shadow it would cast when the sun is on the other side of the earth, it would project a disk on the moon. And yet, despite that... It continues. It continues with Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving. I love this. I got flat earth theory from Instagram videos. By the way, for you non-sportsers, uh, Kyrie Irving is a, a basketball player Today, uh, who used to right play. Now, oh, you have oh, hold on. They're trying to play fingertips. something on here. No way. No way. You're getting muted. Ads. Play a commercial on our show. That's inappropriate. Go ahead. I was just saying ads. Oh right. So, so he's a basketball player. Used to play for the uh, Cavaliers, and I think he plays for Boston now. Yeah. And uh, he's now, he's now a flat earther. So he has revealed. Oh, ooh, we got a video here. You want me to play the video? Uh... Should I play the video? Go for it. Can't hurt. What do you think? Can't hurt. I, I I don't know how long this video is. Let me just bring it up here. Okay, let me... Hold on. Let me mute this for a second. Uh, talk amongst yourselves, Bodie, while I play the video out, at, or the, 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 the commercial. All right. So, I guess... Um, Ky Kyrie... Kyrie. Well, yeah. uh, Kyrie Irving said last year that the Earth is flat. Subsequently, oh wow, he's a Celtic. Yeah, he plays for the Celtics. Yeah. Uh, said this had been a humorous experiment, but now he was—he has revealed what one hopes is the ultimate truth. Appearing on the JJ Reddick show. Oh, podcast, of fellow. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, see. If, let's see if we can see catch we... it here. Let me unmute this. See if we can catch a. Uh... Catch a moment of this here. Kyrie. Conversation that Kyrie and I just had. Oh, here we go. It's pretty great. So enjoy. Okay. Come on. Just get to it. I don't, I don't need this player music song. You know what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> He's Conspiracy laughing. Conspiracy theories. <laughs> Conspiracy <laughs> theories. Is the flat earth thing is real? That a consp no, no. Is that a conspiracy or is you that know, just like a, an opinion? No, when I when I actually said it though, like I had been watching a whole bunch him. of Instagram videos, meaning like I had the specific pages on Instagram that were like getting his education given Instagram. to you and videos like this is the flat Earth and the horizon and or evens out on only on a flat Earth and I was just like <laughs> I didn't do as much research as I had you know in order to say something like that because I was just ready to just blur research. it out like flat Earth man it's conspiracy theory they they want to get us and. You know, when you start thinking about it, it's just like the actual intent behind it was just like, do your own research. You know what I mean? Like, and yeah. that's it. Go. Like a lot of the things right. that were just told to me, I was just like, oh, okay. When you backed it up and said like, all right, do your own research. I, I, I like immediately 
do your own research. I love that. That's Have you biggest... heard that ever in any That's... other conversation about anything? Oh, all the time. Uh, whether it was the spanking debate or the any scientific study or that's what everyone boils do, do your own research and it's like they're sitting there talking to me and i'm like i have yeah you have no i haven't i'll confess that i haven't and i'm okay with okay. that <laughs> i mean you, you can actually determine the radius of the earth just from i think timing the sunset uh, if you lay flat on the ground and wait for the sun to come up and then jump up or use a ladder or something and go to the top of that and measure the time it takes for it to reach your eye elevation, you'll, you'll actually not only witness two sunrises, but if you calculate it from that event, you can determine the radius of the earth. And that's how they did it way back when. That's how they knew it was flat, uh, round. I'm going to play a little clip here. Let me know what you think of this clip here. Let me get it up. I know I can do this. I have to try to manage all these scenes, and sometimes I lose. Where is my freaking scene I'm trying to get to? Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Just listen to this. Terry, let me, let me just ask you. Is the Earth round or flat? Well, that's this an easier subject than Brexit or, uh, mar <laughs> or marriage. Uh, it's round. How do <laughs> we know? Except you work for NASA. I... <laughs> and the point is that yeah. only NASA are saying that they have the proof. That's true. Um, how, well, do you, how, how do we know? For sure. well, so they put me on <laughs> a space shuttle. This is Pierce Morgan. And they, they hit the red button and Not I launched astronaut. into space, going eastbound at 17,000 miles an hour. And thankfully, I came back around to the other side. If the Earth were flat, I just would have kept on going. And, you know... It's as simple Sorry, as that, Pat. Ask you, is the Earth <laughs> round or flat? Is the Earth well, round or flat? That's the question. And that's the last item that we have on the Lulzilla segment. Are, are you ready to move into the science part of this? I think so. <laughs> I think this will be where the, where, the, where the money's at. So the, the, the science part, I, I actually, I'm trying to use their own stuff, and I got you here. See, I know you know this stuff, and I don't. And, mm -hmm. you know, oh, by the way, the reason that I don't do research is because they want to try to convince me that God created the earth under a disk, and there's this, this, this windy, clocky thing that produces the illusion of the rising sun. I don't know. It, that's way more implausible than any of the issues that they bring up and say, well, did you know this and you're not? And I'm like, I, I, since I'm not a physicist, I'm like, well, no, I don't really know that. And I'm okay with that. I'm just going to move on. But you actually know more about that stuff. So yeah. let's get to 10 questions <laughs> you always wanted to ask a flat earther. Did you did you go through these? Uh, I have not, but I will. I will if that if that helps. I think it will. I uh, and we don't necessarily have to go through all ten questions here. We could decide to go through one or all ten. It's entirely up to you, sir. Entirely up to you. Okay. It's not, it's not numbered for me. No, it's not numbered for me either. Oh, okay. oh, there's a there's a video. Ten questions you always wanted to ask flat earthers. Yeah. So. So let me let me get to their first question here. So you say the Earth is a flat disk surrounded by ice. By the way, I'm reading from Vice right now, as, as you can see if you're watching the video. You say the Earth is a flat disk surrounded by ice and that all of that ice is in Antarctica, right? So then how could so many explorers cross the continent in the past? And UD responds, there's no such thing as the edge of the Earth. There is only an ice border surrounding the circle. It's what we call Antarctica. Why are we so sure that Antarctica isn't a continent? Because so far, there's no human expedition routes that it splits Antarctica in two from one edge to the other in only one straight line. The line is always bent or curved. What say you, Bodhi? I think he's got you. Now you to the wall. Um, you can fly over it. There have been flights over it. Like straight over it. It's been pretty yeah. well mapped. There's tons yeah. of 
documentation and aerial photos and military planning. And I mean, the Nazis are going to build a base there. I'm going to build a base there. I'm actually looking for Superman's <laughs> base there. I know it's there somewhere. I mean, what people it... sailed, sailed around it. Yeah. Uh, and the amount of time it would take to sail around it if it was on the outer edge of the Earth, if it was flat. The flat Earth model basically doesn't have a scale because it never works uh, based on the time it takes to travel between points. But that's that's another point, I guess. So you don't believe the Earth is round. What about gravity? Ready? Yeah. What is he going to say? What is he going to say? He's going to Gra say gravity is a hoax. This is what they do. <laughs> they say uh, right. anything that actually confronts their ridiculousness they call it a part of the hoax you're just told to believe that there's a difference in mass between one substance and another the interaction is what makes certain substances get pulled down quote unquote to the ground to earth but at the same time there are substances that get pulled up people ask me isn't earth floating in space who knows <laughs> <laughs> who knows i love that great good science Good. We don't have a photo of the Earth from far away in space, except for that one. <laughs> editor's note aside for this <laughs> one. Okay, let me go to the editor's note. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click on this and, and see what, what, what he produced. Is that Voyage? So yeah, Leo. And, oh, <laughs> this is fake commercial, you know, fake government. Uh, uh, NASA, NASA captures epic, epic. Uh, Earth, Earth image, except for this. It's great. Okay, yeah. next one. I'm just gonna breeze through that. Yeah. Well, well, or do you do you want to address the, the 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 gravity thing before I move on? No, I pretty much covered it. Yeah, because you know, people using the the model of gravity are able to design and engineer things like planes and. And other things that take into account the laws of gravity, and they it it doesn't get explained with just buoyancy and density alone. There's other factors that, even if you tried to explain it with density and buoyancy, you would still come up with the constant of gravity for acceleration. Wait, you don't believe in gravity? Well, what about the tides? The interaction between Earth and the Moon sort of proves that gravity exists. Uh, the tides are caused by the activity of the Earth magnet that is at the bottom of the sea. It causes change of sea levels. So what about this quote-unquote theory that the tides are caused by the moon and the sun? By gravity, it's easily countered by the tidal map. Look, look at, at it. it. Okay, let's look at the tidal okay. map. We're going to go uh, look at the guess. tidal map. Okay, this let's go to it. it. We're looking at the tidal There it is, the tidal map. Okay, what am I seeing? Do you know? There's the title map, folks. I don't have a clue why I'm looking at this. So if the general theory is correct and Earth is indeed round, then the title map would be divided into four areas and in four <laughs> different colors with two areas in full red-yellow and the other two areas in full blue. What the... What? I don't... That... That's just... A, what? I don't even know. I, that does. That's more not science even, that, than I can handle. That doesn't make any sense. I, I didn't. I didn't write this. <laughs> what? What is I, he trying to say? I. I is he trying to say if the Earth is round that it's going to have these four neat quadrants of We're gonna map gravitational it influence depending on where the Moon is? It would pull in one feet in one quadrant. All right, except there's other forces it's not at how, play. It's not, there's it's other. That's not how it works. Right. Wow. Yeah, right. There's other. There's also other forces at play, like the land mass and other things that. Like an infinite number of factors. Okay, so. I didn't. I've never heard that one. That that's a, that's that's pretty good. That's that's pretty good. Wow. Um, I don't know, man. I'm starting to believe now. 
Okay, so what about lunar eclipses? There will be a partial lunar eclipse visible in Asia next month. How can a lunar eclipse happen if the Earth is flat? The lunar eclipse happened because of the X moon. What? Now they're just making shit up. What the Chances heck is the X moon? Chances are that the X moon is round, transparent, or blue. It's a sky object blocking the sun. This also refers oh. to the effect of Rayleigh scattering. It's what makes the sky look orange at sunset or something like that. It, it's what makes the sky look orange at sunset. Oh, he literally wrote that. Yeah. There's no. What is the Raleigh scattering? Do you want to find out what that is? Do you know what that is? It's basically caused by the roundness of the Earth and the way the light scatters in the atmosphere. Uh, the Raleigh scattering. So the scattering of light by particles in a medium it's, it's, with... Go ahead. Oh, you're, you're explaining it? I'm reading the definition. That's all. Uh, go for it. It's probably better than mine. The scattering of light by particles in a medium without change in wavelength. It accounts, for example, for the color of the sky since blue light is scattered slightly more efficiently than red. So, in other words, I think he was throwing that in as a... I'm assuming that was a counter to the point that he was making. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do one last one on this list, and then we're going to move to the next item. What do you say? Go for it. Let's do it. Ferdinand Magellan once traveled around the world in a boat. He star started at a point and returned to the same exact point. The U.S. Air Force has done that same thing, but with an aircraft. Isn't this proof that Earth isn't flat? What sort of navigation tools did they use? Was it a <laughs> ball-shaped compass? Try to gather information whether the compass in southern Australia will be slightly slanted as it points north. If you're going around Earth using a compass that points north and you are going straight east to west, then logically speaking, the route is circular. This is something a lot of people fail to understand. And what he fails to understand is that you need a different compass in a different hemisphere. I don't even understand it. I don't. I don't know science. This is one of my weak points. I don't know science and physics and all that. I'm going to jump down and see how he ends this. If he just... Okay, then. Just one last thing. What will happen if we go to the tip of the Earth? You mean the edges of the Earth? So far, nobody can break through its gates, which are the ice walls of Antarctica. From the colonizers, we learn that the further we go, the more extreme the weather gets. Who are the colonizers? I don't know. I want to see if I can find that. Flat Earth colonizers. Oh, I no. do not. He's talking about the expeditions that had to turn back every time. Uh, they didn't have to turn back because of walls. No. They, they turned back because of the weather. And the weather, it wasn't that the weather was getting more frigid. It was that they were in the weather for a prolonged period of time. It was immediately cold as, I don't know, throw in some expletive. Uh, <laughs> oh, and I just happened to post something okay. here. The Flat Earth Society just responded to Elon Musk tweet. This is the most, I saw this one. So let me see. Flat Earthers are having one heck of a week. Okay, blah, blah. I mean, you... you uh, Elon Musk says, why is there no flat Mars society? And they said, hi, Elon. Thanks for the question. Unlike the Earth, Mars has been observed to be round. Okay. And where is Mars? Is it inside the globe? Is it, is it, where is it exactly? Is it's it, on, where? it's on the glass. It's in the firmament. It's on the, it's, it's on the glass. You, you think, uh, okay, you have a dome. What? What kind of scientific and wonders would it be to have a glass dome that size? Well, they don't know if it's made of glass or not. Oh, they don't know. No. They're just and do they believe that, that human beings have the technology to go to the heights of the glass? Uh, yes. They think when rockets go up and they have air brakes stop them and they choose to float back to Earth, that's them hitting the barrier. Oh. Okay, that's enough for me right there. That's yeah. 
It's that bad. That's bad. That's really, really, really here's, bad. Here's, here's the other kicker about using rockets to go into space and stuff. When they launch and they start to get high enough, it looks like they curve towards the horizon. So they're saying those rockets aren't really going into space. They're just going around the Earth. Oh, boy. Wait, around the Earth. Oh, they can't go around the Earth. Right. So, so what do they mean? They go like in a circle uh, yeah, up above? In, it's going in circles rather than them realizing that the, from their so perspective. So first it goes up and perfect. then it goes this way and then it goes this way. Apparently. And if you're watching on or if you're listening on audio, I went straight up and then I turned to my right and then... I went in a circle like I was a halo. Imagine, okay, you picture my head. My head is the space that we're talking about. So the center of my head, I go straight up. And then at the very tip of my head, straight up, I turn immediately right. And then I make a circle around the top of my head. That's what they're saying the rocket, that's what the rockets would have to do, right? Yep. That's pretty fancy schmancy stuff. Okay. Uh, I, I don't I don't even know what this is. I brought this up and I'm like I don't even know what this is. This is weird. It's uh the Flat Earth by Donald E. Semanic. Did you did you look through this at all? A little bit of the history of the Flat Earth there. No. I encourage you folks to 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 click on this. I don't think we'll go through this because I think we've we've covered enough of the science part. Now it's time to get to the fun part of the show. Yes. It's time to get to the I ponder part. It's, it's time. What'd you say? I ponder. I ponder. This is the part of the show where the curious history. Uh, well, you know what? Let's just go right to it. Let's yeah. let's go right to flat earth equals CIA disinformation campaign. Let's just start with that. What do you say? Wow. Okay. Are you ready uh, for this? I'm ready. I, you got it open? Go ahead. I got it. They're popping up in conspiracy political forums everywhere. 9-11 YouTube comment section. Every 9-11 YouTube comment section and just about everything else that the government has a vested interest in marginalizing or discrediting. They're flat earthers and they're spreading like the plague. Flat Earth is like 21 Jump Street of the conspiracy world. These people are the equivalent of undercover cops playing play a hatin'. On the cool kids selling weed. Unfortunately, thanks true. to thanks to usury and unlimited zogbucks. Oh, this is where you get into the crazy. Uh, so hit. usury, you know what usury is, right? No. Usury is interest on loans. Oh. Uh, it's a it's a it's a Jewish conspiracy thing. So this is a Jewish conspiracy thing. Ah, uh, so thanks to usury and unlimited zog bucks, we have hit levels of government-sanctioned player-hated hatred that shouldn't even be possible. Now, you're probably wondering where Flat Earth originated and why. Well, like all things dishonest and subversive, it started with a Jew. I had no idea. Oh. Are you kidding me? I had no idea that Cass Sunstein... Was he wrote the book book Nudge, by the way, which is a a book outlining exactly how you nudge people toward your social engineering utopia. So, so what's interesting about this article? This article is seeking to discredit a nut job conspiracy theory with. Wait for it. Wait pause. For it. A nut job conspiracy theory, <laughs> <laughs> and that's the beautiful thing about this. It's it spins people off, even even the the bunkers. It it spins them off ad infinitum into a uh, a world of uh, of blind blind never ending rabbit holes. Right, trying to disprove it, they can't understand it. Like I think. People who believe in the round earth talk more about flat earth than flat earthers do. That could be true. That that actually is true. It's like there are some militant atheists that spend far more time 
trying to discredit Christianity than most credit Christians spend trying to prove Christianity. <laughs> It's like if all the Christians died, the militant atheists would keep it alive. Just like if all the flat earthers died, the militant anti-flat earthers would, would, would keep it alive. The so, militant globies. The militant globies. <laughs> the militant globies. Right. Militant anything is, is usually bad. It's so always... my my reason for wanting to do this show was I think you can have fun with the flat earther thing to a certain degree. A little bit of trolley trolls. I, I enjoy doing a little trolley trolls myself. And who knows? Maybe the earth really is flat. I mean, I don't know for sure. I don't know 100%. I'm, uh, I'm highly doubtful. It's round. It's a globe. I'm 99% I'm, I'm sure it's a globe, but I can't say that I've seen it. Uh, which, you know, actually 99% is pretty good for me because, because it's awfully difficult for me to say that I'm sure about almost anything. So <laughs> that's a well, high percentage. The major question you have to ask yourself is who benefits from the flat earth or, or from, from, from hiding the flat earth? If the, if the earth is round or if the earth is flat, what changes? If everything still works the same. If they haven't uncovered some secret attribute of physics or, or, or of the physical world or anything, what difference does it make? And why would they go to this ridiculous extent to hide it from you? I think that the better question is who benefits from the conspiracy theory itself? Well, I mean, you're... You're you're taking it from the perspective of hey, easy way to debunk this is to ask the question who benefits from this. Well, they have an answer to that. It's an right. easy answer, it's and the dumb. answer is that uh, the government does not want you to believe that there is a god who has ordered everything in a in a in an absolute certain way. Right. That. It is God who is in control completely and wholly, and they don't want you to know the the clear evidence for God's existence. I mean, that's a pretty powerful reason to hide the, the you know, if the earth is really flat, that's a pretty good reason for the government to hide that, because the government wants to be God. Right. But... So there, they have a reason. They, they, they do, but... It's not a very good one, I don't think. Well, if it's true, I think it's a great one. I, I but don't... What does the flat earth have to do with the word of God or anything like that? Like, the, the Bible doesn't describe a flat earth. You can interpret scriptures that it describes a flat earth. Not necessarily. I don't necessarily interpret it that way, but you can interpret it that way. Right. And it's just a possibility that we've what? proven... See, see what I'm interested in. See, I, I mean, I get like when you say nobody has anything to gain by saying that there's a flat Earth. Well, yeah, they do. If if the flat Earthers are right, and that's a big if. But for me, there's just like what we just talked about. You know, the 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 the, the links that you have to go to to explain a simple thing like the rockets leaving. And how, how that happens so right there immediately. I'm like, I'm sorry, dude. Uh, that's, that's, that's not the way it is. But for me, even as a Christian, my understanding of God, I don't believe that God would have ever created something that was so obvious for everyone to see exactly who he was, who his true nature is. And you can right. understand the fullness of God. I don't think that's, that's not, that's my understanding of the Christian God. But be that as it may, I think, and I think I've said this to you before, I believe that the flat earth theory, there's, I'm, I'm going to talk about the core group. I think there's a lot of people like maybe Kyrie Irving and other folks. I think a lot of these folks are kind of like, they're kind of trend set, trend followers. It's, it's becoming a fashion, a trend. It's like, and 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 from the government's perspective, yeah, the government actually loves uh, the flat Earth theory. That loves that the flat Earth theory is going out there uh, yep. for for a couple of reasons. One of the reasons is 
it, it gets people spending lots and lots of time trying to figure out and prove the flat earth theory rather than trying to figure out all the evils that the government is doing to you right here and right now. Yeah. The other thing it does is a lot of people who tend to be conspiracy theorists in general who actually may be on to something would easily fall for the flat earth theory stuff. So if Bust. they're going to espouse... Yeah. What's that? Thus discrediting them. Yeah, thus discrediting them. Thus thus making them sound completely out of their rocker. So for me, the flat earth theory tells me more about the flat earthers than it does anyone who's you know, the any interest that the government might might have in trying to hide it. I believe that that there tends to be uh, I'd say the majority of human beings, they need to find a place of, of certainty in their lives. Right. And they have to get there in a multiple multiple ways they get there. And a lot of them get there through the state. And the flat earthers get there through God. And they have to have a God that they have absolute proof he is. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that's who God is. Uh, God is an, uh, he's an un, how do I say this? He's un, in, incomprehensible. Uh, is that a, incomprehensible, incomprehensible. He's incomprehensible and he isn't, he, he hasn't designed a Petri dish for you to be able to look at and clearly and finitely see who he is. That is if he exists at all. I, I'm pretty certain that he does. But even at that, I'm not 100% certain. I, I don't think anybody can be 100% certain, uh, no. honestly, if you're really honest with yourself. If you're really standing on absolute objective proof, nobody has that. And I don't think that's the way it's supposed to be. I don't think that human beings were designed, if they were designed, or that human beings biologically exist in a world where certainty is healthy for humans in the first place, I think certainty <laughs> tends to produce, uh, Stagnation. I'm going to say, what's that? Stagnation. Stagnation and psychoses. And the psychoses leads to empowering a small group of people, sometimes one person, to do very, very, very bad things to a whole bunch of other human beings. And I think these uh, flat earthers, the, especially you know the hardcore Christian flat earthers, they can't rest in their uncertainty. They must have certainty. And I, I mean, I, I used to be with them. I mean, not, I was never a flat earther, but I, but I was I, searching after that. I mean, my, I major, my major problem with, with these types of conspiracies is they're assuming that the powers that be, the government itself, has this extreme power to fool people and to pull off some of the most elaborate hoaxes to shape our minds. And it's basically giving humans way more credit than, than they have. Right. Or reptilians. It, it actually ends up boiling down to reptilians. They can't it's, even believe humans would do it. So, what, Well, <laughs> the flat earthers want you to believe in the certainty of God. And to get there, they have to get you to believe in the omniscient, omnipotent, all-knowing, all-seeing, I know that's redundant, I'm being redundant on purpose, power of the state. Right. It's, it's actually counterproductive. <laughs> kind of. Yep. Kind of counterproductive. You know, the opening of our show is, uh, you know, the only thing you have to fear is, is fear itself, and fear is uh, uh, mind killer and... Uh, uh, you know, to, to, to promote the, that, that what you want to do is, just paraphrasing FDR here, you want to you wanna promote, what did he say, uncertainty? Or no, you want to promote uh, uh, forward progress, whatever, over uncertainty. And folks like the Flat Earthers, the 9-11 Truthers, even if they're right, and I'm not... I mean, the 9-11 truthers at least have more credibility than the flat earthers. I'm just going to say that. Uh, but even if they're right, uh, they're still 
I would say even if I knew for sure that I was right about these two things and I really wanted people to overcome the power that has created this 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 reality, I wouldn't want people to know how powerful they were. So I would probably not share that I knew what I knew. I would rather talk about people empowering themselves and encouraging uh, individuals and free associations to create their own power among themselves if you're going to have any chance at all of actually undoing this concentration of power that's capable of doing something like 9-11 or hiding the reality of the earth. You, you don't want to send a message out to everyone that they're all powerful, all knowing, all seeing, and no matter what you do, they've already thought it. They're 15 steps ahead of you. You've right. just paralyzed them with fear. Good job. Yep. Absolutely useless. And <sighs> so to that end, I think the flat earth theory, it makes more sense that yeah. it was perpetuated and begun by a CIA operation. I'm not saying it was. I'm just saying it makes more sense. It's very it's totally in the government's favor. Uh, and, and for the most part, these techniques are admitted. Like they, they, they have plans to do these things. They know they do these things. They know they work. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I think I, even a lot of a lot behind the 9/11 truth movement is is part of is an extension of that psyop. It's part of making people believe this this myth that the government has this 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 omnipotent power on the level of a god. It's competing with God. It's Satan, basically. Yeah, but it's Satan that rules the earth, and yeah. It paralyzes you in fear. And you know what? <laughs> you're useless to me. No offense. I, I don't mean you any harm, but you're mm -hmm. absolutely useless to me. Oh, Larry. Larry's here. I know you love Larry. Larry. Larry says, rainbow cabin means you gay. Probably, Larry. Yeah. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Yeah. Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm gay. I just happen to like women. But other than that, <laughs> totally gay. <laughs> <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that. So there, take that. So I don't I, I, I don't know. I think we worked this through. Got got what I wanted done. Is there things that you wanted to cover that I didn't get to? Um no, not really. This this pretty much covers it. And yeah, for me again, what I'm interested in, I'm interested in the phenomenon. I am. Not it, so much the debate. I'm actually interested in how to make something go so viral. And That's to true, to too. Keenly defend something you know is false and just putting it out there. And that just keeping kind, it alive. That kind of power is very, very tempting. But maybe, maybe it's being kept alive because... Uh, this isn't omniscient, all-powerful. You don't need to be all-powerful to contact a few media people and say, hey, keep this story alive. Right. Yeah. So they may it's... have some... There may not be a natural virality to it. It may be decisions made by the gatekeepers at the... Antarctic. The, the, yeah, the, the Antarctic gatekeepers, the ones <laughs> standing at the walls... Sending out the transmissions mentally with their minds. With their mind minds alone. alone. They're advanced uh, lizard people who are able to, well, I, I think that they managed to get into our system, our water system, and they turn the frogs gay. Something like that. I think that's how it goes. Chemicals I think there's a the song water. about it. What's that? Yeah. The chemicals in the water turning the frogs gay. <sighs> but uh, actually, even to that end, well, uh, um, I, I still haven't seen the study, and I don't think it quite says what it says, what people say it says. What study? The one that, that Alex Jones says is true. They're turning the frogs gay! Yeah, I think it was actually an accident. It might have been, but <laughs> even if it was an accident, he wasn't totally wrong when he said they're turning the frogs gay. 
Right. He could have been like, right. I mean, he could he could still be right, I guess. But he might be wrong in that it was like a government experiment to see if it would work. Might have been wrong about that. It I might have been he, an accident. Yeah, most of what the government doesn't accomplish is, is an accident. Yeah, <laughs> most of what it does accomplish is an accident. And then afterwards, because <laughs> what they basically do is they just, it's like when I was a telemarketing manager way, way back in the day, like back in the early 90s, we used to get like, I don't know, 30, 40 people and we throw them on the phones. And yep. uh, you, you, it was really difficult to tell. You could have some educated guests, but it was really difficult to tell who was going to actually work out and who wasn't. So you just threw 30, 40 people on the phone, and out of those 30, 40 people, you get about three or four really, really good people, and you can never fully predict who they were. I think that's yeah. what the government does. It just throws out. It's always throwing stuff out. It's always trying stuff, and every once in a while, something works in their favor, and then everybody's like, well, they're geniuses. They're all powerful. <laughs> nope. No, they, they, as they're we used playing, to say, they're playing the numbers game. Exactly. As we used to say, the telemarketing business with this strategy of getting 50, 60 people, signing them up, get them on the phones. Basically, you throw a bunch of crap on the wall and some of it's going to stick. Yep. <laughs> it's, it's the throw in crap methodology that uh, and because the government has so many resources because it steals at such a grand scale, although. That's another show we could do sometime. Yeah. Taxation is not always theft, but that's another story. <laughs> I'll just, you know what? I'll leave that. I'll just leave that float that's out there, and I'll let people just not always twitch, <laughs> twitch on that. Taxation yeah. is not always theft. <laughs> Although I will say, oh. for me, taxation is theft. I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> taxation yeah. is theft. Because yeah. I'm, I'm not consenting voluntarily. I don't see any usefulness for it. And the only reason I'm doing it is because I'm calculating the, the coercive risk involved in not complying. Most Fair people, enough. though, that's not what they're doing when they pay their taxes, even when they complain about it. Yep. I think that's a good place to end. What do you think? That's a great place to end. You got anything more to add to this show before we punch this puppy in the head? No, thanks for watching, as always. Do your promos? Uh, if you want to support my work and stuff, you can go to agora.threadless.com. Find me on Steamit at Bodhi.agora and give me some upvotes and some monies. I put out a yep. lot of content in the last week. Um, yep. So if, if you want me to keep doing it, pay me the monies. Yeah, pay him the monies. Same thing for me. Pay me the monies. Yeah. Not really, but really, I but not really. I'll send you some steam. Okay, send me some steam so I can upvote your stuff. We, we got we got two boosts on on this live stream on D Live. I'm up to thirty eight fifty. All right. Oh, so you can send me some steam. Help me out. You know, send just to help me. Steam. You know, post some stuff. That would be great. So uh -huh. I want to thank everybody for joining us here. Be sure you go to iState.tv where you will get a mix of news items. Some of them are totally original articles and I do podcast videos and do some news aggregation as well. But you'll see a mix of news that follows that, that model of awareness, hope, action. And, and yeah, absolutely a little lulls as well. Cause you gotta keep your sanity somehow. And I'll be back tomorrow on my personal Facebook page for headlines. You may have missed. I might do it at 10 30 AM. Not sure. Might, just do it at 12.30 p.m. So I like 12.30 we'll because it's more likely for me to catch it during my lunch. Yeah. And I'm I'm seeing what kind of numbers I get. And I actually oh. got decent numbers on 10.30. And today the numbers weren't as high. However, like the even though it didn't get the same numbers initially, it's climbing towards what I got yesterday anyway. So maybe it doesn't matter. At any rate, I'm going to sign off. Yes. This is Paul Gordon with Bodhi Agora. And we will see you next week right here on the Liberty Principle Facebook page for another exciting edition of Is Daily Tuesday. Good night, everybody, and have a have a good evening and crap. Have a flat evening. Have a flat evening. <laughs>